Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. We seem like we do a lot of McDonald's on this channel. We so. do do a lot of McDonald's. That's, that's, Ronald. that's Tom McDonald cousin. It is, man. All righty. Have we did Norm McDonald before? Yeah, we have. Yeah. He's had a, oh. He's been on uh, 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 Family Guy's voice. What character see. was he, though? I don't know. State symbolized move. Slave Hodgman. Happy Black, uh, Happy Black History Month, fellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, what a time to do this. Why well, nobody got on their dashiki? What a time to do this. Nigga. You know what? You know what's going on? Fuck you, you can go on dashiki. Hey, get that right there, right behind you. It's right You're the African one. In there. I had two dashikis when he was soccer. Right behind that white hat. Right behind that white hat. What is a dashiki? Oh, there you go. My brother. The black pride, man. I'll put that bit on. Well, that's the Jamaicans were there. Nigga, this is black pride. Colors. Yeah, yeah. It's not good. Yeah, big. Yeah. He's that mug. Just the thumbnail right here. You ever the Brock said? Put the Pooh Shiesty on for Black History Month. Put the Pooh Shiesty on. Where's that, bro? I don't even know. Put the Pooh Shiesty on and put this on. That's terrible, bro. Chill, chill, chill. They didn't say pass him the Glock. Oh, let's get this one. Nah, relax, buddy. Relax, buddy. All right. We have did Norm before, but I'm going to be quite honest here, guys. We didn't post it Norm. We didn't. We was in there straight face because we didn't. I guess he was roasting people. I didn't think he was funny. Yeah, we didn't that like that sucked. shit. We but, did not uh, like that shit, guys. He's one of the characters in uh, Family Guy. He did, before he died. Um, he oh away. yeah, he did pass he's away. When did he pass away? Oh, he had dead. cancer actually. Oh, did he? For like Damn. nine years. Damn. Damn. I think it was leukemia or something like that. Damn, that's pretty uh, impressive. Let me see when he. Uh, yeah, nine years is impressive. Lived a pretty long life. Y'all want to realize somewhere always died. In 2021! Damn! Dang. We lost a ton of people in 2020. Yeah, it does. No, it was Chadwick, COVID. Oh my uh, gosh. Who else went out in 2020? 2020, Kobe. Kobe. 2020 might be one of the worst years in human history. Yeah. yeah. Up there with the bubonic plague. Well, 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 we can't say that. I well, forgot we, about the yellow fever and they had polio. Niggas was fucked up. They couldn't walk back in the cab. That's because yeah, they, they, they had no technology. The flu. Yeah, niggas yeah, died from the flu. All righty, man. Let's and see what war. you got, Norm. I just During the war, you're right. I, 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 boy, if I go through a whole time of life and never been to war and never have to see a war, or my yeah. country in war—that's great. Uh, yeah, well, that we've been great. in war for a, a good many years. Oh yeah, we have, but not yeah. a war that we got drafted like yeah. everybody got. Yeah. Oh uh, boy, they're gonna, boy, they're gonna be in jail for dodging it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, a war, a world war, that, that would be off. pretty bad. <laughs> Boom! You hear some shit I said? Go out there, if they train me to drop I'm bombs from the plane, let me be in the at the base. I want to. I think because everybody got to. You wanna be a straight. nigga flight? What them boys yeah, call them? Uh, red? What them boys call them? Good red tails. Red. red? You wanna be a red tail? Damn right, I wanna be. Mm. Boy, I don't like. It. I don't wanna die. Now. I gotta I get my stuff. shit up before I fall. Nigga, <laughs> you, might, you might see some shit coming at this, this boy. See, but my shit gonna beep beep beep. Or my eject those seato cuz. <laughs> 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 All right, see. let's go ahead and see what my guy Norm has. Let's go ahead and get it. Looks like a normal guy. Probably have one or three out of nowhere. One hundred and thirty years after the Civil War, the state of Mississippi has finally voted to abolish slavery. Representatives say they would have liked to have done it sooner, but uh, they were delayed due to some awfully big cotton crops. They had to... That's a, cotton crop. a big cotton thing. All right. In Colorado this week, Bob Dole warned that if Pat Buchanan is the Republican nominee, the party might lose both the presidency and control of Congress. In response, Buchanan warned that if anyone other than himself becomes president, blacks will retain the right to vote. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, the epic disaster film Twister opened to big box office and some controversy. The Reverend Jesse Jackson has called for a boycott of the movie, claiming that not enough black people in the film are killed by tornadoes. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Furman, who was expected to face Jesse disciplinary Jackson, action, Jackson. Reverend Jesse, Je Jesse Jackson. Is he related to Michael? Uh, no, no, he is not. Bro, bro look it up, bro. Jesse Jackson. Yeah, look it up. Is I not related to Michael Jackson. I don't even know Jesse Jackson. <laughs> look it up. Jesse Jackson is not related to Michael. Black political activist type guy. Yes, they are not related. Just yeah, they just got Jackson name. That's a typical black people name. Yeah, they're not. No, but no worries. They, I mean, they have a photo together, but no, they're not. They're not related. No, they're not related. Uh, I'm probably right. tweaking in. Right, let's get back to it. Uh, by the LAPD may get off. Meanwhile, Furman, who was expected to face disciplinary action by the LAPD, may get off lightly. Under the terms of a controversial plea bargain, the charges against him have been reduced to, quote, one count of using the word darky. <laughs> 
In the wake of the verdict, angry That's Menendez terrible. defense oh, attorney no, Leslie Abramson that. said the jury simply chose not to believe the brother's excuse that they had been sexually abused by their father and says she knows why. Quote, it's because my clients are black. <laughs> He's going crazy. Yeah, he just don't care. President Clinton he's just, he's just was in Austin, Texas last Monday, the day of the Million Man March. The oh. president said in a speech, I'm here to speak to you today because right now in Washington, D.C., there's like a million black guys. <laughs> yeah, he's wild, dude. In Nashua, New Hampshire this week, a high yeah. school student, Chris Connolly, while attempting to dunk a basketball, lost his balance, crashed down on the rim, and shattered two front teeth. Gee, I wonder if by some crazy chance Chris is, uh, white. Lenny <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was good, that was good. <laughs> This week as America marked the 50th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's entry into Major League Baseball, there was a sobering reminder that racial prejudice in sports is not yet a thing of the past. In a shocking move, today, all but one of the 125 playing members of the Professional Golf Association has signed a petition to ban African American golfers from the tour. <laughs> And now a correction to a story we ran last week. Prince Charles is actually the one in the middle. <laughs> we apologize for that. I don't know why black sorry. was black as that. Black, 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 black is great. Black is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, black is fantastic. Even though you know they're not black anymore. But yeah. again, we're not white. Right? Right. We're pink like his fucking asshole. <laughs> the bro. Seen it. Bro, I thought it was a, I thought it was Bobby's asshole deep down. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Rosette hired me as a stand you know, I was doing stand up and Rosette said, Would you like to be on the show and act? I, I you know, you can be Lori's uh, boyfriend. I said, I can't act. I should have said I could act. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, she said, Well, why do you be a writer? But one time in the writing room, she would give jobs to crazy guys sometimes, and she gave a job to uh, African American. I don't know what you call them. I call them African Americans. <laughs> That's uh, those two words that I've never heard in the state of Texas. You know? Crazy guy. <laughs> That's a joke. Nice making jokes. Yeah, we're saying African crazy. American. And when you say that, it's feels like right? 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 cholesterol. <laughs> what are you supposed to say? Well, just to tell me what you're supposed to say. Right <laughs> I well, I definitely would not say the A word. Right. That's what I call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The A, A, the A dash A word. Yeah. In America. <laughs> Can you do an African American accent? I try, yeah. Okay. We'll give you an African American. Well, uh, an African American. Your well, mom is so yeah. fat, she I developed agree. type 2 diabetes and. Hey, <laughs> yo! Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Hey, I guess. Hey, Dave Chappelle should have never started it, bro. <laughs> when black men probably started making fun of white men, they got the green light. And so, they just went crazy. So y'all want to play, huh? Hey, bro. Well, I've, been, I've been thinking this one for years. <laughs> green light. <laughs> is, it, is, is it bad I'd rather hear black than African American? No, African American just sounds like more like. It's just, it's, I don't give a damn. It feels more icky like when I hear it. I don't yeah. know nobody in Africa. Yeah, black people, it, it is better. It is better. Like, African American. <laughs> it's just, just feel. Oh, my God. That shit's so black guy. Oh, my God. Let me hear this guy. That's right, yeah. Okay. An African American. Your mom is so fat she developed type 2 diabetes and congestive heart failure. Snap! Yeah. Uh, hey, George, my mother is so fat when she came to Vegas they had to build another hotel. Okay, because you got the do rag. You know, I'm fucking around a woman, you know, and I don't want to answer the phone. Oh shit! It could be a job, and then, and then, and then and you know what? You after you go, you take the do rag, you wipe off your dick with the do rag. And, oh my God, no, I don't do that. But else, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, we all do that. What? Yeah, the, the Harlem, the Harlem Shake. I've seen it on okay. every single. You've commercial. seen it. Then you'll appreciate this joke. I remember back when the Harlem Shake. Was just a back black fella holding me upside down off a fire escape trying to collect his money. Yeah! Orange is the new black. Why did you eat that? Not in my apartment building. Kevin is the new black. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just not hearing this. Not in my apartment building. Kevin is the new black. But.
presidential fact. Right, Barack quick. Obama is Somebody the door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, Norm. All right, Norm. Is that a little I mean, look, man. Roseanne. We can't be, I mean, you know, he's he's definitely, we don't know if he's racist or not, but definitely it is mean, comical, though. Yeah, he is. It girl. is definitely comical. It's crazy. Because, I mean, if Kevin, it's just like Family Guy making the same jokes. He's just making, you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. He's just doing it in person. Yeah. I don't so, know. I mean, some of them, some of them, I, some one, it maybe one or two he might have crossed the line. Maybe <laughs> like one or two. He pushed it. Which one would you say? Uh, the do one, the one, 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 one was kinda, funny. I ain't gonna said, lie. You take your white, wash your dick off with the do rag. Like, <laughs> what? What the <laughs> hell? Nigga in there whacking that shit. He mean a nigga whacking that shit with the do rag. And he he crossed the line. Oh, oh, that's the door day? Yeah. <laughs> you door day? Okay. Fat ass here, that's man. Crazy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You are a beast. All right, man. You feel like he's taking it too far, bro? You feel like he's taking it too far? Are we going to be black flakes here? No. Are we black flakes? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm tough. <laughs> I can handle risky jokes. And the do rag one was funny, though. I ain't going to lie to me. <laughs> Presidential fact. Barack Obama is the first president to ever say the N-word as a term of endearment. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that it's a term of endearment. Is, That's funny. He said he the first pre Barack the first president to use the N-word as a term of endearment in a friendly way. Saying all the other presidents didn't use the N-word in a friendly way. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how George Washington is, though. <laughs> That's not how George Washington is, though. <laughs> Fake laughing. Today is the 11th birthday of President Obama's youngest daughter, Sasha, or as I like to call her, the uppity one. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the AB show, ABC show, Nashville. Start again. Start again. Right. Kids today. I mean, you can't, you can't spell, spell ABC. Wow. Wow. Uh, Did you say BBC? Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the ABC show, Nashville. With this and her appearance on iCarly, I think Michelle's ready to start appearing in films. May I suggest my favorite film series, Black Ass Fuckers? Wow. I found the secret to life <laughs> is there is no problem that a huge... <laughs> yeah, you can push it home. No, I found the secret to life, Bob, and this is it. There is no problem big enough. That a huge, <laughs> that, a huge <laughs> that a huge what? <laughs> now I found the secret. I found out the secret to life. Yeah. Yes, oh great one. Yes, and it is this: there is no problem big enough that a huge black cock cannot fix. Uh, <laughs> Yo! He's the first. Oh, huge wow. black cock cannot fix. Uh, Take him a second. Dr. Dre announced that he's the first hip hop billionaire. The regular J. Paul Ghetto. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Two businessmen bought the Milwaukee Bucks for $550 million. They are very excited with their purchase, as this is the only legal way to own black people. Now that is here, and I read that? Well, you're not there. You know how businessmen are racist? They are. Yes, yeah, so it's them being racist. They are. You. The two that the two businessmen that bought the Milwaukee Bucks for five hundred fifty million dollars yeah. are racist, according oh, no, to this. Oh, they're fine, man. <laughs> well, here's actually a joke no, about Donald Sterling. Donald Sterling. Okay. <laughs> All the charities that Donald Sterling donated millions of dollars to are giving the money back to him. Well, that'll show him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That's funny. All the charities that Donald Sterling donated millions of dollars to are giving the money back to him. Well, that'll show him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, never trust a black guy wearing a Dirk Nowitzki jersey. In game one of the Western Conference Finals between the Mavericks and the Thunder, Magic Johnson said that Dirk Nowitzki is playing like he has three legs, which is a nice way of saying he's playing like a black guy. <laughs> Yo! Show Oklahoma City second round NBA playoffs. Great John from Westbrook. Though I'd be more impressed if he weren't young and black. Moscow Roy Jones Jr. is down. Boring. If I wanted to see an old black guy get punched in the face, I'd look out my window. Oh, wow. And LeBron crushes Kyle Cover in transition. Always shocking when a black guy running forward is faster than a white guy running back. Usually I think the victim.
bigger, blacker it's guy. <laughs> President Obama is a phenomenal player at basketball for a president of the United States. But I think he's just mediocre for a black guy. Hey, what about bringing in Jackie Robinson? Only team with a black guy on. That's not cheating? No way. No way. Where I grew up, that's cheating. Last week, Indiana Pacer Danny Granger called Joe Kim Noah of the Chicago Bulls a coward. Now, where I come from, those are fighting words. But I have no idea how the black community views them. I... Oh, wow. You know, boxer Bernard Hopkins has caused a stir by implying the boxer Bernard Hopkins has caused a stir by implying that Donovan McNabb is not black enough. <laughs> the two men have decided to settle their differences with an old-fashioned game of who cannot catch a cab. Oh, hey, God. yo! No, why? Uh, oh, everybody's bringing up these uh, licenses for illegals and that they, they need to have them. And I'm, my question is, uh, where are they getting the license plates? Obviously, we're letting them register vehicles without licenses. And in this day of car bombs and stuff, I don't know if that's a good idea. Thank you, Dan from Boise. Norm, what's your feeling? Well, um, <coughs> I know that the New York governor, Governor Spitzer, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get to learn things. But he, uh, he doesn't want to issue uh, licenses to uh, illegal immigrants, you know. And uh, I don't know how the hell you're going to get a cab in New York City anymore. And it's hard enough, you know, for me especially, as a black man. Yeah. Is that how hey. you get a cab? Yeah, they don't care like this. I hate to be the one to say it. Hold on. Uh, I heard something about they wanted to take the uh, uh, the N word out, right? Yeah, anyways, I wanted to bring it up before I forgot, and then we'll get on to my, uh, my project. <laughs> All right, do you have any observation on it, any tweak on it, or just the, the cognizance of the fact that they want to... No, it's, I, well, I feel it's a thorny issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no that, was, that wasn't the whole thing. No. I thought you were going to go like, well, how so, or something. <laughs> Tell us more, Norm. Why don't you well, do... uh, I feel it's a thorny issue. Yeah, me why. too. Why, Norm? <laughs> Well, you got Mark Twain, and, you know, and you're talking about, I mean, uh, for those of you who don't know, you know, what I'm talking about, they've, they've taken out a, the N-word, you know, out of many of the books of Huckleberry Finn. You know? Norm. <laughs> and uh, so you got a thorny issue that I think I, I, I have a solution to. <laughs> Do you want to hear it? Oh, man. Was, was never, never, never anything more. <laughs> Well, the thorny issue is this. Yeah. You know, you don't want to take, you know, Mark Twain, you know, one of the greatest writer ever to brush paper with ink, you know, <laughs> and, and, and change his words, for God's sake. <laughs> On the other side of the, of the coin, you don't want to have a young African-American boy in school, you know, hearing that word out loud and, uh, and causing him pain. So it's a thorny issue. <laughs> but I figure it this way. You've read Huckleberry Finn. They think that's so funny. Yeah, it's so splendidly <laughs> demented. Yeah, I've read it. I've read it. You, you know it's that's written bad. in the first person by Huckleberry by Huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> Huckleberry. Yes, I do. Huckleberry Finn. And you know it includes the N-word. I yeah. didn't live here for hundred years, Chad. Therefore, oh, you just change Huckleberry Finn to a black kid. <laughs> it's like a rap song at that point. Yeah. 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 Huckleberry Finn to a no. black kid. <laughs> <laughs> and everything's, it's like a rap song at that point. Right? Exactly, everything's cool. <laughs> everything's cool. That's hey, crazy. Uh, That's foul. Now, what would That's you say, Ross?
What's it with what? You hate to say it, but what? Oh, about the tip with the taxi? Uh, what's it called? Oh, no, you I said no. I don't know what you were talking about. You said I hate to say it, but I, hate, I was just saying if I'm a taxi cab driver, one guy, rich white guy over here, one nerd black guy <laughs> over here, come on over, bud. If I, if I had to make my money on tip, I know I hate to be the one to say it. I know you guys think the same thing. Oh my gosh, bro! You At first, he's he, he started off saying he might have had two jokes that was all oh, white. Whoa. <laughs> 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 I mean, hey, we've seen Dave yeah, Chappelle. Yeah, a couple, I was like, Chappelle. all right. But Dave Chappelle kept it on a, I don't know, I don't know. Because he's a comedian, I mean, I guess when you're a comedian, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Patrice was talking about raping women, so, you know, yeah. that's way far in the line. Dude. That was... I know, I think Patrice had the wild. No, who had the wildest joke? Now Patrice was out in line for much. Talking about raping a woman. Yeah, Patrice. Beat on that stuff. Like, what he said? Hit on the head or something? I said, okay, Patrice, you tweak. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, he's going. Mom was ready for them black jokes. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah, 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 he, 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 he was laughing while he was reading. <laughs> <laughs> he was. Ah, uh, that shit. That was pretty funny. I mean, I did at first. I was like, okay, I came in here with a little um tension with my black ass. You know, Same. final thoughts about Norm, R.I.P. Norm, man. You know, I don't have any hard feelings. Some people might have no some, some black, black f flake activity out there, but I don't, you know. I'm still surprised you never read Huckleberry Huck Finn. But, boy, a couple years ago, boy, if I would heard this, I would have said he's a for sure racist. <laughs> so I, can't I, I don't action. know, he borderlines me. Was, was, I don't want to give him a racist thing. He's not racist. No, he's hey, not racist. Yeah, I know. That's what he was saying once. I mean, facts. He's not racist. He was just he was just real edgy with the joke. But that's yeah, comedy, though. That's, yeah. that's yeah, that is comedy. Turning. See what I'm saying? Touch about us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but well, some people take it that, you know, like maybe like. But he was a funny guy. He would have just said like some like black people are gang members. That would have been racist. <laughs> yeah. But he didn't say anything like that. Well, yeah, he was just jokes. He was that's what make it kind of bro did a good job. Yeah, he, like this he, a line he just came across to it. Yeah, he was he definitely did. teetering that line. Oh, he was <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Funny, if y'all want some more, no, let us know, man. If anybody else has black risky jokes, we'll definitely want to yes. check that out. That's just They're hilarious. actually hilarious. We're out of here. We appreciate it. It's on Instagram.